Hello everyone, Mike here and in this clip we'll take a detailed look at the iPad mini, which is, as the name suggests, an iPad just a bit more compact than the iPads we knew before. From starters, you're going to find yourself amazed by how slick this device looks and feels. In fact, I haven't been so enthusiastic about the tablet for a while, probably since I first saw the Galaxy 7.7, but this one is actually better. Apple managed to make a slim and light slate that's going to be very comfortable to carry around. It weighs about 300 grams and is only about 7 mm thick, which is less than 0.3 of an inch. However, despite being so thin, it is around 10 to 20 mm wider than most of the 7 inch tablets on the market. Thus, sliding it inside your jacket pocket is probably not going to be possible. So you'll need to throw it in your bag or something. Anyway, the iPad mini is for sure one of the most beautiful tablets you can buy today, if not the most. It's available in two different versions, a silver one with a white bezel and a black one with a black bezel as well. Of course, the body is cast from aluminum and the front face is covered in glass, exactly like on the bigger iPads. There is, however, a slightly different body shape with rounder edges that make the iPad mini a bit more comfortable to hold, although there's still a sharp strip of metal around the glass that can get annoying. Anyway, as a compact and very light tablet, most of you will be able to grab the mini with one hand, despite being a bit too wide for that. The narrow bezel though kind of makes it awkward to actually hold the tablet without touching the screen with your thumb, but luckily it's not really an issue if that happens, as you'll find out a bit later. Having a quick look around the edges and the back, you'll notice pretty much the same ports and buttons that we knew from the 9.7 inch iPads, with a volume rocker and a customizable switch on the left side, the power button and the headphone jack on top, and the speakers on the bottom flanking the lightning port. The connector itself is a lot more compact than the older 30 pin adapter and it's reversible too, which makes it much easier to use, but you'll need adapters if you plan using your iPad mini with older accessories and those cost around $30 each. On the front face there's the screen, with a home button below, slightly smaller than the one on the classic iPads, plus an HD FaceTime camera and the light sensor on top. The display is for sure a do or die for a modern tablet, and the one on the iPad mini is not bad at all. It's a 7.9 inch screen with an IPS panel, and it's overall bright and capable of displaying popping colors. However, it's not a retina display, as it only offers 1024x768 pixel resolution, and that can be an issue, as you're going to notice the pixels, especially when browsing and reading texts. And that, coming from a company that actually pushed the Sino Pixels policy, puts the iPad mini in a poor light, especially since most of its competitors actually offer HD resolutions on 7-inch screens, thus much sharper images. Still, unless you're already familiar with a retina display, the lower resolution panel on the mini is something you will get used to and enjoy. The 7.9 inch diagonal actually makes the entire screen size about 30% larger than what you get with 16x9 7 inch tablets and the 4x3 aspect ratio makes the mini an ideal device to use in portrait mode for typing, chatting, browsing and others. The narrow bezel around the screen helps keeping the iPad mini a bit more compact while accommodating the wider screen, but it also leaves little room to grab and hold the tablet without actually touching it. Luckily, you can do that and it will not interfere with your actions as Apple worked on some softer tweaks to make sure the screen is going to detect your palm or thumb when gripping the tablet and ignore those, and it just works well most of the time. All in all, the iPad mini is a beautiful and sturdy tablet, with a very thin profile and yet a larger and more useful screen than you get on 7-inch slates, but there's more than meets the eye about the mini. And that's because the iPad mini is capable of providing the full Apple tablet experience. You get iOS on it and all the standard apps like Mail, Maps, Safari, FaceTime, Game Center, iTunes and the others. And you also get to use the hundreds of thousands of apps in the App Store plus Siri. Just don't forget that everything is going to be smaller on the 7.9 inch screen than you're used to from your classic iPad, including the icons, the buttons or the keys, and that will take a bit of time to get used to. The hardware platform inside the mini iPad is not really the latest tech. It's just an Apple A5 processor with 512 megabytes of RAM, similar to the one you get on the iPad 2. But since it doesn't have to handle a Retina display, it's able to provide a smooth and snappy everyday experience. Yes, some apps and games take a bit longer to load on this tablet than on the newer 9.7 inch iPad, but I doubt that is going to be a massive issue. And once the apps load, everything will run flawlessly on the mini with no lag or stuttering. So the iPad mini is going to deal fine with your everyday tasks, no matter what those are. It's going to be a versatile portable multimedia gadget as well, as it can handle games, movies, browsing, music, books and so on, as you'll see from the next tens of seconds.
The tablet also features two cameras. There's an HD front-facing camera on top of the screen, which provides pretty sharp images in FaceTime or Skype, and there's a 5 megapixel shooter on the back that can take decent pics in proper light, but it's fairly basic as it lacks flash or the HDR and panorama options you get on the iPhones. As we get towards the end, there are a couple of other things I should add. First, the Mini offers Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and cellular connectivity as an extra option and the wireless works just fine. And then there are also the speakers placed on the bottom that I found quite good for a tablet this small, capable of providing punchy sound and fairly alright audio quality. The iPad Mini doesn't pack a very large battery, as there's not a lot of room for one inside that thin body. However, Apple promises it will run for 10 plus hours and in practice you'll get even better with everyday use with a mixture of browsing, texting, videos, games and music. On the other hand, the iPad mini only comes with a 5W charger and that means that fully charging the battery is going to take a couple of hours. All in all, the iPad mini is for sure an awesome tablet. Compromises were made here and there with a slightly older hardware and a subpar resolution screen, but I don't consider those deal breakers. The price however might be, as the iPad mini starts at $329 and prices can get quite steep if you want more storage space or a cellular model. Yes, the mini is $170 cheaper than the Retina Display iPad, but it's also about $130 more expensive than the Nexus 7 or the Kindle Fire HD. Of course, it's also slicker than those, more robust, better looking and does provide access to Apple's superior ecosystem. But if you want a compact tablet for light use, for browsing, watching movies, reading books, those $200 slates do provide better value for the money. I've also pitched the iPad mini against the new iPad and the Google Nexus 7, so go ahead and watch those videos as well. However, I don't really think that the iPad mini should be seen as a competitor for the $200 7-inch slates available in shops out there, but more as an affordable and more portable iPad alternative that still offers access to the full iOS experience. And for that, I'm pretty sure many will love the mini. With this in mind, it's time to end this clip. For now, I'm going to hold on the iPad mini and use it when traveling. Although the lower resolution annoys me, I find it a good device overall. But I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Did you buy it? Will you buy it? Just leave your comments down below and don't forget to share this clip to your friends and subscribe to our channel. That really helps us a lot. I'll catch you later.